Oh, there's a giant under ice. He just ate this one. You're watching Canadian Mountain Man, your guide to Canada's wilderness. Just walking into the burn this morning. Uh, it had a lot of action over the weekend. So hopefully I can find some corners out there and uh, have a little luck. Go to the aggressive areas where uh, people were maybe a little bit afraid to, to climb. You can see this burn goes way up, way up to that mountaintop. I actually drove up there the other day did a little bit of a scouting trip and we're about halfway up it right now so I better get walking to put it in perspective that's where the trucks parked over there and I just came across all that gnarly creek flow down came across there and then that elk ridge that I showed previously is right up there so I found a way that's kind of easy to get up there not not super easy but better than climbing straight up it's right over through those trees you just follow a little game trail on a uh, side hill and you get right up there at one of the low spots then once you're on top you follow that up for two or three hundred meters nice plateau up there it's been picked almost clean it's crazy um, but this is kind of the survey of the area that we're in I climbed up there over an abandoned waterfall the other day that was pretty intense there was a uh, some nice grays and blondes starting up there there's some kind of microclimate going on a little bit warmer and uh, again there's the mountain top up there, so there's some some vertical feet here. Yeah, we're ready to climb it. I better get back at it. I found a spot over here yesterday at the end of the day. I came in here and got a bucket and there was quite a few laughs. So the only thing it's hard to video and stuff because it's really aggressive steep. So I'll take a few minutes to show you a mushroom or two, but this is gonna be uh, like this. I'll show you down there through here starts over here and I'm gonna go down all through in there I did a little tiny patch as I was leaving yesterday there so looks like it was pretty Pretty aggressive for most people, so there was actually some nice mushrooms in there. Hopefully we can get a good video for you. Uh, another beautiful morning. Sun is shining. It's supposed to be thunderclouds this afternoon, so it's going to be uh, go, go, go all day. Very steep. Found a little spot that uh, it has some nice regrowth through it. I'm just kind of going through this really quick. And I'm going to go end up up that hill up there. 
I picked out over here before on another video, out in that direction, towards that pink ribbon. It was pretty good. I am seeing a little bit of regrowth, so I'm going to snatch all this stuff up. And uh, some of them are too small, and I'll leave those. Here's a couple little guys. Little Smurfs. There's another little one over there on the ground. So it looks like there are some blondes coming now. We're transitioning in this area at least into a different type of mushroom. So it'll be interesting to see if the blondes can grow fast enough with the warm weather that uh, they don't get picked down at small size. But again, they're starting right here. Right there. Right there. There's a few little ones in here. And then as you look up, right where the sun pierces through, off this little bush trail that they cut back when they were firefighting, obviously. So they could bring quads and guys in to fight it. But if you look, they're in here. Some of them are really small, but it does give a good indication of where we are on uh, this fire and uh, this area. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of them. I can see a few through there. I'm going to just pick the, you know, probably five or ten percent that are big enough to take leave the rest and hopefully uh, they survive and I can come back here in a week as I climbed out of there I just started to see these guys popping out of this hillside here I'm gonna get a good view of that beautiful new mushrooms I wish they were about double that size but that shows that this is going to reflush nicely. There's all the way up there. You can see them. And uh, back over here, there's a few more going that way. You can see one right in the center of the screen there. I'm right by that fire trail that they came in here and uh, fought the fire on. So I'm going to side hill up here and just kind of pick as I go, see what I see. And I'm going to try and finish a bucket out here today. And then I want to check another spot on the other side of the fire. Kind of get an idea what's going on. I can see morels right ahead of me. Center screen. There's quite a few of them there. So. There's my bucket. And I took just a few steps over here and cleared these trees. And... They're coming in pretty nice now. Beautiful morels. Yeah, can't really beat that. The one behind there is a little bit smaller. And if you pan over here, there's a few over there. I'll take you for a walk. There's one there. And I'm sure if I look a little bit harder and quit videoing, <laughs> I will find more. Oh, there's some up there too. Beautiful country here, but it is steep and it's hard to climb. And where's a guy out? You're really working for your mushrooms out here. It's amazing. Beautiful though. Baby Gray's coming. Perfect. I actually found some nice developed ones of these yesterday. They're about two and a half to about three and a half inches tall. These need a little bit of growing time still.
I was decided to walk back to the truck and I stumbled upon a little spot. Maybe it's about 10 parking spaces. Yeah, they're still in here. Somebody didn't pick them. Nice morels. Great to see. They're loving the sun. Well, I'm going to pick a few of the big ones. Start heading for the truck, have lunch, and go check out a different spot. Hopefully we uh, I have been into the other spot before. And hopefully I have a little bit better luck there. And uh, find some volume. It's been a great day though. You can hear the mosquitoes. It's uh, starting to warm up. I like to pick the mornings because I, I get too hot during the afternoon when it's a super hot day. So so this was the guy that gave this spot away. And if you look off, there's lots of little baby ones on the ground. One in the middle of the screen right there. And uh, as you come this way, across here, there's a few little ones under my feet right now. You start seeing little guys here. And then as you come over here, there's a bit of a microclimate where it must have warmed up. They're getting bigger. You can see them there and some more right there. And then as you come around here, Little guys, little guys, get down there. A few right here. More this way. I'm popping out of the rocks right there. Mosquito just bit my finger as I'm trying to video. That's awesome. There's some more on the ground there. more down there. And it's actually nice walking in here, I'm surprised. But I believe that these mushrooms just came in the last few days and people for probably were here. As you can see, mushrooms were cut off a while ago. That's a base of a mushroom right there, probably from last week. And then there's another morel right there. So, they keep coming. A few little guys there. Here's one of the gems. We just seen it in the distance. And that is a beautiful gray morel. It's a true fire morel right there. And they're just beautiful. If you look around, there's lots of other morels. Most of them are 
greens, they're all in there. And over here. So this was a warm spot throughout the day. It kept its warmth. And you're seeing one of the later types of mushrooms to come in the season. Right there. And yet, 20 feet over there by my bucket are almost the first type of mushrooms that come. So, these high alpine fires and areas that you pick can have little micro pockets that are warmer or colder. Or I uh, drove up the road the other morning and there was a five degree difference from where I parked here and down at the base of the hill. It was minus five at the base of the hill and it was four degrees up here Celsius. So that's a good indication that the ground's warming, the frost is coming out and the morel should be coming. That's a beauty right there. Well, I better get back to my buckets and do my thing. There's about six mosquitoes on my hand. My buckets are over there through the trees. Now these guys are so hard to see. That's why for a second there I was kind of confused. They're beautiful mushrooms. And there's that one there. favorite mushroom truthfully look at that guy in all his glory the great Gandalf what I call him move that away for you look at that that isn't beautiful I don't know what is Take a few minutes and just check around here. It's obviously a warm spot. There's uh, a little bit of a trough here, and uh, giant hill up there, over there, and another little hill behind me. So I'm gonna snoop around here, and hopefully I find a few more of these guys and my buddies. That's a beauty right there. One of my favorites. Just pinch that off at the base for you. And uh, you can actually really see the size and how nice they are. They're beauties. There's years that I've found these that are four and a half, five inches tall. Almost the size of your hand. Just one mushroom. But this is the beginning of them in the sunshine. The mosquitoes are out. You can hear them. And they're biting my hand again as I video. I'm going to go look around and hopefully I find a few more. I'm on my way back to the truck. I had a great morning. I'm going to go get a cold drink and uh, have lunch. And then get back at her. I found a nice gray morel. Beautiful gray morel. Found a few this morning. It was hard. But the main thing is I stayed away from the bears. No issues with that. One of my friends actually out here two nights ago got his cooler dragged out of camp early in the morning by a black bear so they're everywhere out here we always bring some sort of protection bear spray or if you're on public lands we'll bring us a uh, defender shotgun and, uh, 
keep an eye out. The grizzlies are out and the black bears are out and this is also mountain lion country so you always kind of keep an eye over your shoulder as you're picking. You can see a lot of little baby morels as I walk through here. There's a guy there. Yeah, I'm going to head on out and have my lunch. Pretty gnarly stuff I'm coming through here now, but it'll flatten out down there. It's easier to walk through. There's a few morels around here. So I'll slowly work my way down. Little guys. But it shows that this place is still growing. Well, back to the truck. Coffee break. A little snack. of the road in the middle of nowhere.